guys happy new year so i'm so excited for this week's video because i'm finally going to show you guys a whole week in my life of how i journal and how i plan so today is january 1st so i'm so excited because the hobonichi hon finally started like i've been waiting this for this so long like the daily pages are finally starting today and i'm just so pumped right now and of course my trusty one or two weeks um i've been using this um for a month now because it started in december so i'm using this as my planner and i quickly wanted to show you guys the pin i'll be using for this week this is the pilot um vanishing point and this or capitalist they call it capitalist too um and an extra fine nib i have a fine nib on this but i did buy a replacement um nib from yoseka so i put the extra fine nib in this and it's inked with pilot namiki um black ink and I'm using it as a cartridge and I never really used cartridges before but I'm actually loving it because it's so convenient um and I'm basically gonna show you guys like and walk you through like uh every day in my week and how I like everything I do and like how I record it in my journal and how I plan it in my planner so I'm really excited for this video I just really wanted to give you guys some motivation to like um or like some inspiration for journaling for the new year and I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get going to brunch <music> so it's a voiceover Raquel here and I know that a lot of people love um, voiceovers over journaling videos so I thought I'd give this format a try um, I feel that this video is actually a new format that I'm gonna be testing out and please let me know in the comments if you like this format or if you prefer something different because that would be super helpful because I'm just experimenting right now but um, it's like almost like a vlog mixed in with journaling and I kind of wanted to do like those like week in your life or day in my life type of things so hone in on the comments and let me know um but yes so i'm doing my first journaling page of the year i can't believe that the new hobonichi um hone started today and i'm really really excited and i kind of just like wanted to show you guys my process of how i journal and how i decorate my page so um usually what i'll do is i'll if there's like a photo or like something that i want to um, glue onto the page such as um, this cute little January 1st um, mini calendar paper that I have that I got from Amazon by the way and I'll link it down below so that you guys can get it if you want it um, but I wanted to really commemorate um, the first day of the year so I went ahead and glued that on there and then I also glued a photo of the brunch we had that you guys just saw previously um, and I thought it was really cute so this is what I like to do beforehand like if I want to stick anything on I'll go ahead and do that first because I do like to write around um, some of the things that I stick on or some of the decor that I do but there are times too which you'll see in a little bit where I still like to add more decoration after I've even finished writing so right now um, just a few tips for you guys on what I'm journaling about so I'm journaling about my day usually and any thought that I have or what I did that day and I was saying in Instagram that when I started journaling at first I was just writing down facts and events of like what happened to me that day um, I didn't really honestly go into thoughts yet or anything deeper than that when I first started journaling only because I kind of just wanted to build a habit and experiment with what I want to write about and so what I started doing which you'll see here is I'm just talking about how it's the new year um, what time it was when I started writing um, or what time I woke up 
and then I also talked about how I did my nails that day and how we went to brunch like you saw earlier and um, what I'm gonna do for dinner and etc. So I wanted to mention that the pen that I'm using which I just talked about in the beginning of the video again is the Vanishing Point Stripes in um, an extra fine nib and I love this pen right now. It's literally my favorite. Um, I think that the Vanishing Point is not a beginner pen because I actually got the matte black Vanishing Point when I first started buying fountain pens and I felt that I didn't I didn't love it because only because I felt that I didn't know how to write with it and that it actually took a quite a bit of time experimenting with the pen and practicing my handwriting to learn to love using the pen and I'll probably do a video on beginner fountain pens that I recommend but the vanishing point is my favorite right now I just love how my handwriting looks in it and I felt that I found the way it works for me so for example how much pressure I apply at what angle I hold it all those things so I feel like it took me a while to love this pen and now I absolutely love it then I also wanted to mention the ink that I'm using in this pen right now and it's the pilot Namiki and it's in the cartridge and I'm obsessed with cartridges right now because it is so convenient I mean don't get me wrong I do love a converter and I do love bottled ink um, but this has just been so convenient especially since I write with this pen so much it's really really helpful and convenient and efficient so I've been using that and I love the Pilot Namiki black it's such a classic black it's really really nice and um, yeah also I just want to note to be careful with what like cartridges you buy because sometimes they don't fit all fountain pens I believe that Jet Pens has like a fountain pen compatibility guide with the specific uh, cartridges that you buy. So just take a look at that when you do go look into that. So right here, I'm just writing about what we did after brunch. We basically decided to, I watched some YouTube videos actually, um, and then about journaling, of course, and planning. And then we decided to make dinner. I did try a new uh, green bean, like spicy green bean recipe, which I ended up loving um and then we watched a little bit of the big bang theory which is one of my favorite shows and yeah i think it was a very chill and relaxing day um we also worked on some of our workout goals that we wanted to do this year so that was something we spent time on tonight and um, if you see to the right i have my fourth wing book and it's the special like barnes and noble edition it's so so pretty but i'm finally catching up on reading fourth wing and i love it so far it's super entertaining and one of my goals this year is to read like as many books as i can but not in a rush so i guess what i'm trying to say is I am trying to enjoy a book and not have to feel like I need to rush so that I can finish it so I can move on to the next thing. Um, I always put that pressure on myself that I'm not reading enough and I'm trying not to be so harsh on myself in terms of that. So I'm really enjoying this book and I'm taking my time reading it and I love the speed that I'm going at. I'm not trying to rush myself. I feel like I've already, you know, set enough goals for myself this year and it might be a lot, I don't know yet, but I'm trying my best to, you know, just improve every day. And I heard this quote where people were like, you know, you don't always have to think, oh, new year, new me. It's more of just like a new year, better me. So I really like that quote and it really resonated with me. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now, as you can see here, I decided that my page just needed a little bit of decoration and that's what i do sometimes i'll look at my page and sometimes i feel like i want to just add something to it you know that little cherry on top to make it like quote unquote my perfect page um but yeah so i picked up these transfer stickers which i love transfer stickers so much you guys like it's such a game changer um i love it and um i was looking at this one that i had from our studio that I got from Nico Neko, I believe. I'll try to link it down below if they still have it in stock, but yeah. And I wanted, since we went to brunch today, I wanted something to reflect kind of like a, a 
a brunch theme. It's not the sticker is not a brunch theme, but it looked kind of like it. So I was like, okay, this will work. Um, so I went ahead and picked out the transfer stickers that I wanted to use. And that's what I'll do is I'll cut out um, the transfer sticker itself, like the specific um, picture or image that I want to use. And I'll go ahead and like play around with how where I want to put it. So I'm not saying to like spend all your time like I am right now to decorate if you don't want to like you obviously don't have to this is something that I love to do and this is something that I enjoy so there are times where I will spend you know 10 or 15 minutes and trying to see like what I want to use so yeah honestly journaling is up to you and it's whatever you prefer there's no wrong or right way to do anything honestly it is so there's there's no need to limit ourselves and there's just so many infinite unlimited possibilities so yeah so I wanted again to commemorate Jan first so I'm putting stars and whatnot and I saw this little like jam jar thing it's not really jam it's like this is like a botanist sticker I believe so it's not jam but it looked like jam so I'm, I'm using it <laughs> I'm using I'm working with what I got okay so yeah so what I'll do is I'll you know move the images around or the stickers around and see what I want to use. Okay, so you see me using this MU wooden stick. And before I had this stick, I did not know I needed it in my life. It is so helpful with applying transfer stickers. Like it's insane. Before I was just using my hand and it wouldn't, the transfer sticker wouldn't like apply to the page correctly. And I was always having issues and I was getting annoyed. But now this tool, wow. It is great and it's so cheap. I think it's like $2 or something, but I'll link it down below. It is so helpful. And you know what? It is also helpful when you're like trying to fold papers, like instead of like using your, your, your hands, your fingers, like when you use this tool, it is like the crisp fold. It is great. So yes, much needed in terms of like the accessories that I have for my stationery is really great. Um, and then the scissors I'm using, I forgot to mention, it is Tools to Live By and it is my favorite scissor. I actually just placed an order on Jet Pens for the bigger one, the bigger size one, because I think Tools to Live By makes the best scissors. And I also placed another order, um, sorry, in the same order, uh, Ray May Scissors. I think it won an award. I'm not really spending that much on stationery. Those are just the things I've been eyeing that I wanted to get. Um, so, so, so that hasn't arrived yet, but it's arriving soon. So I'm really, really excited to get it. And I'll show you guys that probably on Instagram or maybe another YouTube video I do, but yeah. And then as you can see here, I added like a cute little spoon that looked like it was scooping jam. And I added that in there. And I think, I think it turned out really, really well. It's really cute. Um, I feel like it's a relax vibe page and yeah, I just love how it turned out. And these are the things that I do in terms of my journaling pages. I'll decorate beforehand, I'll decorate after. It just depends on what I feel that my page needs. So you could obviously do either or, or whatever you want. So, but that's what I usually do and that's what I wanted to show you guys. Hello, good morning. So it is Tuesday, January 2nd and Usually in the mornings, I love to plan. That's kind of my routine, is that I'll plan my day, um, some parts of my week in the morning. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of that. And I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks in the Tomitaro Makino cover. And I'm using my handy dandy Vanishing Point stripes that you guys know I am obsessed with. So what I like to do with my Hobonichi Weeks is on Sunday night, I'll go ahead and decorate a little bit and maybe add in some events that I had already pre-planned for that week. And then throughout the week, I'll add on a to-do list for that day uh, or the next coming days, depending on like what I'm in the mood for or what my schedule is. So what I wanted to do today was get some blue bottle beans for coffee because I want to start making my coffee at home. That is one of my goals is to not spend $7 on an iced latte outside and make my coffee in the house because it saves a lot of money because coffee is really expensive these days. I wanted to do a bit of grocery shopping, um, laundry organization just from like the holidays. 
And then I also had to pick up an order from Apple in the World Trade Center. So I might go do that today. And I also wanted to do some social media stuff like respond to comments, etc. I kind of had a break, um, a little bit of a break because I moved and um, I was setting up the new apartment and all those things. Okay, so here I wanted to show you guys another beginner tip for journaling. Another thing I like to do is to break up my day with journaling. So maybe I'll write in the morning, which you can see here, just a few sentences. And then maybe later in the afternoon or in the evening, like early evening, I'll do a couple sentences again. So that when you're trying to build this habit, you're kind of working on it throughout the day rather than journaling at night. And you know, what if you're tired and you find it overwhelming, then you won't even do journaling on that page, you know? So what I like to do is when I first started is I would break up my day in journaling. I'll write a couple sentences here and there. And by the time I know it, and let's say it's the evening, usually I filled up at least like half the page, which is amazing because you're not looking at a complete A5 blank page where you find it overwhelming or you don't want to journal anymore. So that's another tip I have is that I journal throughout the day. And it's really, really helpful to get into that habit of journaling when you break it up. Hey guys, so I got a nice latte at La Colombe because I didn't have beans at the bottle yet, so this will have to do. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just quickly look through my planner today. And as you guys saw, I went grocery shopping. I responded to all the comments. I didn't get a chance to do this, so I'm going to move it over. I went to Blue Bottle for beans, but they didn't have any, so that's moving tomorrow. And I went to Apple to pick up my order. So I basically know what I need to move over to tomorrow. So I'll do um, get my Blue Bottle beans, and then I'll do... Um, finish uh, laundry and organizing the apartment. Cool. And then I want to get to my journaling page for today. And I didn't show you guys this yesterday, but I have to do my monthly um, for today, my one line a day in my monthly spread today. Okay, so I'll just write a brief, sorry, it's messy. Okay, dusty. So I'll write a quick little one line a day today for January 2nd. So if you guys were able to watch my Techo Kagi part two setup of my Hobonichi Hon, you'll know that I'm using my monthly spread as my one line a day, and it is so great i love it so much i know some of you guys have already tried it and you're loving it too so i'm happy that i was able to provide like some inspiration and also it's like 
a great like beginner friendly way to start journaling just to make it like a habit that you write a few sentences a day and then eventually you're you'll start writing more and creating a habit and it's like such a great way to start and it looks so satisfying at the end of the month when every box is filled out it's looks great it's really pretty and i also kind of describe it as like a index type spread because essentially it's almost like a descriptive index where you're writing just like a sentence or two a day and it kind of gives you like a brief very brief summary of what your day was that day and you can use it to like reference your daily pages so yeah it's like a descriptive index a more descriptive index it's really really fun and i'm really enjoying it and i want to continue doing this monthly spread this way and that's it you guys looks it's gonna look so good filled out as you saw in my December. Now I'm heading to my daily pages. And so you guys saw me do this yesterday. Um, where is my, I like to use blotting paper so that it doesn't, um, not this one, so that it doesn't smear as much or doesn't smear at all. So you guys saw me do this one yesterday. It already looks so good, I love it. And I started writing um, this morning, as you saw, so I'm just going to finish this up. I don't think I'm going to add anything, like any pictures for today. I just want to write, and yeah, I think that looks already good. Just seeing your writing all on one page is already really nice. So another tip I have for journaling is, you know, there are a lot of beautiful spreads on social media from people who are artists, painters, people who can decorate really nicely or structure their page really nicely. And that's all wonderful. And I find those so inspirational. But sometimes it does overwhelm me, especially when I first started journaling, because I was so adamant about having this like beautiful, perfect page. And honestly, when I started journaling, I thought, you know, I can just take a pen and have my piece of paper and just write. And I've found that taking away that pressure of having like such a beautiful page or a page that's decorated nicely or whatever it may be, um, I've found that just writing on a piece of paper, the whole page is more than enough in terms of journaling. I think it's so minimal. I think it looks beautiful. Um, I've had a lot of people comment on my pictures where I just have writing and they say it just looks really nice and it just shows you that a page can a page a journaling a page can literally be anything it can be collaging it could be drawing it could be just plain writing and i i find that so great because there's so many ways to express yourself with journaling and i've gotten really comfortable with what i'm comfortable with and what i can do for example for that day for that week whatever and I think it's just nice to know that other people appreciate the same thing. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this page that I'm doing is I'm literally just writing on a page and that's it. And it already looks really, really nice. And I didn't even add any decoration or anything like that. I didn't doodle anything. I didn't add any decoration. I just wrote and with a pen. And that in itself is already beautiful. So I feel that there's no need to criticize or pressure yourself to make such a beautiful page when sometimes all you want to do is just write and that's it and what you write down is you know specific to you and your thoughts your feelings your experiences and that's already great in itself and that's all you really need to put down on paper so what you see here is like i did yesterday i'm basically writing about my day which you saw in the previous clips i basically went to Blue Bottle, they didn't have any beans, so I got myself a nice La Colombe iced latte. I went by the water, then I had a nice golden hour at home. Then I went to World Trade Center and picked up my th thing that I needed for filming from Apple. And then I went to Italy to grab some groceries. And that's what I'll spend my time on journaling and whatever thoughts, whatever other thoughts I have. And yeah, that's pretty much my journaling page for tonight i won't bore you with all the details of my video of me writing the whole thing but i'll go ahead and include a bunch of clips as the page progresses 
Also, I wanted to add a bit of music while I'm journaling this page just to have like, for example, if you guys are journaling yourselves and, you know, want some company or have something in the background to just have and listen to music and have like a nice relaxing time journaling, then let me know in the comments if you like this specific portion of this video so that maybe I can do more of it. Um, and I actually really like this. I love watching videos where um, it's just music and someone's like journaling or on their desk. I find it really relaxing and I'll journal to that too. So let me know in the comments if you enjoy this and hopefully I'll do more in the future. Okay, so today is Wednesday, January 3rd. 
and um, I basically had my ideal day. So I'm just going to update my planner for tomorrow and then journal tonight. I just quickly wanted to mention that I didn't film too much like vlog footage today other than that little clip you saw in the beginning of the day which was my little workout area where my Peloton bike is. So I did do a workout today which I'm pretty proud of and um, yeah I just spent most of the day doing my to-do list and then working towards my goals. So yeah I just basically filmed the journaling and planning portion for tonight. So Hopefully that's still okay. So same thing that I did last night. I'm reviewing my to-do list from today and checking things off that I did do and then for anything that needs to be moved tomorrow. And I'm also doing my to-do list for tomorrow just to make sure that I don't forget anything and that I make sure to carry over the stuff that I didn't do today. And yeah, just preparing my day for tomorrow and just holding myself accountable um, for all the goals that I want to accomplish. Okay, so this photo is um, a beautiful sunset that I saw yesterday, and I forgot to add it to yesterday's journal page, but it's totally cool. I'm going to put it um, in today's and just mark that it was from yesterday. So I'm planning on putting it here, and then I got this like cozy sticker sheet, and I want to like add just like, I don't know, like something cute, like a star, and make it like magical. So a lot of you guys see me using these white tweezers and they're by the brand Cloth & Paper. I love Cloth & Paper and I love how minimal these tweezers are. And I just use tweezers because it helps me like align how I want to place down my photo stickers or like stickers in general or transfer stickers, whatever it may be. I do find them like super helpful. So if you don't have a pair, you should definitely consider getting one. Okay, let's open this up. So I got this starry sticker sheet from Nico Neko, and I don't know the exact brand, but I'll link it down below if I find it. Um, but I just want to add some little sticker on the top of this really pretty picture just to add like a little something. And again, like it can be totally minimal. And I just think that little sticker just adds a little something to the page. So I went ahead and added that there. And yeah, now I'm just going to start writing. So I'm going to go ahead and I do this sometimes. I'll basically, almost like um, scrapbooking, I'll make a little description of the photo or maybe like my thoughts about the photo or just my feelings about whatever photo I took. Um, so I'll add that and you can add it anywhere. Sometimes I add it below the picture, on the side, wherever. But I think it adds a little nice touch there. Just like a memory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start writing and then I'll go ahead and put some music on just to have a nice relaxing journaling vibe and then we'll get on to the next day.
Okay, so that's it for tonight. Gonna say good night. So hey guys, it's Thursday, January 4th, and it's nighttime. I didn't get too much filming done today because it was kind of a busy day, but I have some exciting news tomorrow, which I'll share with you guys tomorrow. Um, so we'll wait on that. But yeah, that's why I didn't get a lot of filming today because I was working on something for tomorrow and it was kind of busy. And tonight I kind of want to just take it easy in the evening and I just want to watch, I mean, I just want to read um, Fourth Wing and head to bed. Um, and I'm sorry for the background noise because I have been doing laundry, but, um, I just wanted to quickly talk about this, um, Canon photo that I printed out because, um, Netflix released, um, I don't know if it was released today, but the Equalizer 3 with Denzel Washington and I love Denzel Washington and I think he's really good in action movies. So I was really excited that this came out and so I watched it today and I printed the photo because I wanted to quickly write about it. Um, so I think I'll journal tomorrow morning and I'll share with you guys um, the news, um, the, the exciting thing that's happening tomorrow. So I guess I'll talk to you guys then. See you tomorrow. Hey you guys, so it's Friday, January 5th, and I just posted the exciting news that I was talking about last night, which is this amazing photo printer giveaway. It's gonna last one week, so just, I'll link all the details down below. It's on my Instagram. So I hope you enter and I hope you win. Um, so I just got my coffee right here and I'm ready to start my day and finish my journaling page from last night. It's really sunny and it's really cold and it's like 30 degrees. So oh, I had to get my coffee though and always drinking an iced latte and I can't give it up. Like I just can't. I'm always drinking cold drinks all throughout winter. So as I talked about last night, I'm journaling yesterday's page today, January 5th, because I went ahead and read a little bit of Fourth Wing. And again, I watched Equalizer 3 yesterday, and I really liked the movie because I think Denzel Washington is an excellent actor. And another thing I wanted to mention is that my journal is like my one book of everything in my life that happened that year. So I treat it as a media journal too. Like whatever book I read or whatever um, show I watched or, or movie that I watched or music that I liked, I'll write it in this journal. And I know some people might do like their own media journal, which is cool too. Um, I just prefer right now to have like one book of everything in my life from that year because I think it's cool to have one book where you basically see like when, when you look back on things, you see what music you listen to, you see what TV show you watch or what you liked from that year. And it's just really cool to see like how your year was in terms of like media. And I think it's really interesting too. It's literally like history. It's it, like, I think back to like, I don't even know the early 2000s. And then I think about like, you know, like Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or Britney Spears or whatever. And it was such like a time. And, you know, every year that goes by, it's like that specific time that's just like that you're capturing. And it's just so fun to look back. So I write everything in my Hobonichi. And I think, you know, I can't wait one day to look back and just see like, what did I watch? Like, what did I read? What did I listen to? So yeah, I think it's really fun to capture those memories. <music>
this is my favorite. Oh no, they took down the tree and we're trying to get to blue, but looks like they blocked it off. They have it. Okay, so I've taken down the Christmas tree. Ah, oh, so sad. Wow, it's really, really snowing. Look at this. Wow, you guys, it's like a flurry. Do you see that? guys so it's uh january 7th sunday evening and um i just wanted to show you like the realistic you know past few days um for the six i didn't film anything for youtube but i did film something for instagram so i'll link it down below so you can see how i did my spread but i didn't finish it and on the fifth i actually didn't write anything either and you know this is something that is often you know realistic for my journaling routine um there are some days where i'm like super on top of it and then there are other days where i'm just not and that's totally fine like i'm trying to be more you know realistic with myself and of course kinder to myself that this will happen life happens and you know sometimes or sometimes i just don't feel like journaling and there's some days i do want to journal but my goal for this year is that i just want to make sure that I will complete all the pages. So I'm in the journaling mood today and I know that I want to fill out Friday and I just want to finish um, yesterday and I just want to finish today. Today I had such a fun day. Um, as you guys saw in the previous clips, I went to American Bar with my friend and we had a really nice lunch and they have this most, they have the most beautiful like restaurant postcard. I mean, look at this. This is so gorgeous. And what I want to do is I want to like washi tape it down and have it like flip and then have the writing here. So I think that's what I'm going to work on tonight. Um, and I want to finish these two um, one and a half ish pages. I just want to make sure that when I go into Monday that my whole week previous week is done. So I'm just going to get that done and I'll kind of just like uh, journal and have you guys just watch my process. So I'm trying to figure out lighting here. Um, do you guys like this low lit vibe or do you guys like this brighter vibe at night? Uh, leave your comments down below, but I think I like both. But for now, I think I like this vibe. Like it's such a nighttime journaling vibe. It's like more relaxing too, because it's more of like that yellow warm light. So hone in on the comments below and let me know. Okay, so luckily this postcard is like the same shape as like from here to here. And that's really nice because then I can kind of make it fit because I want to do the writing in here. So yeah. Okay, let me get my washi tape. I'm thinking about going for this washi. I got it at McNally Jackson and it's really cute and I think it'll go well with this type of vibe. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Hey 
Hey guys, so it's Monday, January 8th, and I know last night I said I was going to finish my pages, but what happened was there was a football game, um, the Bills versus the Dolphins, and it got really exciting, and my boyfriend's a big Bills fan, so um, we got caught up in that game, so I didn't get to finish, and it was kind of late, and I was getting tired, so I wanted to finish it today, and so this morning I woke up, I made my coffee this morning instead of going to go get it, and then, um, yeah, I'm just going to finish my pages. I want want to do like a recap of the week once I finish the pages and kind of just like um, show you guys um, my pages this week and kind of walk you through some of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing these up and then I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to do a quick recap of my week since I finished all my pages. And I think it's turning out so great so far. Um, I loved the calendar, mini calendar, which a lot of you guys have been asking me where it's from. So I'll link it down below. And um, I've been loving that little mini calendar because I wanted to just commemorate the new year and like it's a new fresh start. So I went ahead and put that date little paper there and I stuck it on there and of course we went to brunch and I added like a little um spoon because it was just like a meal kind of vibe then um for these spreads I wanted to just kind of keep it simple and I really wanted to showcase this beautiful sunset that I saw outside my bedroom window and I think it looks really nice it looks simple it looks classy it looks elegant so I loved how this turned out um these two um i loved as well i think what i like to do is to kind of coordinate the stickers when it comes to like two pages that are right next to each other um i think it looks really nice it kind of pull it kind of ties in the spread the pages together um and i think it turned out really well i love this um pet tape which is from our studio i think it's called bedtime or something like that i'll link it down below too but both of these are from there so i love that um, and I'm loving that you guys 
um, love the HPRT giveaway printer reel. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. I spent a lot of time on this reel, so I'm glad that you guys love it. And I'm glad you guys are entering the giveaway and that you love that too. And I'm really excited to give away the printer because the printer is phenomenal and I really, really love it. Um, and then, um, for the last two days of the week, I went ahead on Saturday. I did a lot of like, um, cleaning and we put away the Christmas decor, which you guys saw. So I kind of wanted to keep that spread simple because I don't, I'm not trying to overfill my notebook with like stickers as much or like postcards or like decoration. If I want, or like pictures that I print, if I want to print something, then I'll print it. Um, but I'm not going to force myself to print something every day or to stick something every day. I think it's really nice to just have writing on a page and I think it looks really nice and simple so I always keep that type of style and then um this is the postcard that I was talking about that I got from American Bar it is so pretty and I think the washi tape that I ended up choosing goes really well with like the vibe of the picture um and then yeah and then I went ahead and finished this this page and this little box here um you guys saw that I got my blue bottle beans throughout um during the week and I'm starting to really get into like making our coffee at home and Nate and I have been doing research on like beans and like grinds and like how to make your coffee at home taste really good. So I kind of wanted to start doing little notes um, in my journal and I'm no way any sort of like, you know, coffee expert. Um, so my notes are quite amateur, but either way, I think it's really fun. It's like a really fun hobby that Nate and I are doing. So I love it and I think I'll start making more descriptive notes as I learn and go on. So that's my little note there. And yeah, I think, you know, I'm so happy that you guys joined me on this like week long um, journey in my journal. Um, I think it was kind of a challenging uh, video to do because, you know, I really wanted to be stay truthful about how I spend my days in my journal. And there's some days I don't journal and there's days where I'll catch up. And, you know, I just wanted to make it realistic because my life isn't perfect. Uh, no one's life is perfect. So I wanted to just showcase kind of what I do throughout my week um, as I go through my life in my journal. And so if you made it this far, I'm so, so happy that you watched the video. Um, leave me a comment down, down below about what you thought of this video. I know it was like kind of like a vlog style slash journal with me kind of. I don't know. I'm trying out different formats in my video and I think I really like the way this turned out. So let me know in the comments um, what you guys think. How's your, how are you doing in your journal this year? I know the year just started um, and just let me know and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you again for watching and thank you again for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.